Okay. The rear bumper is a lot different from any of the Euros. Look at Nick getting it easy. <laughs> That's it. All three cars. It's your own Lamborghini <laughs> show. It's not for me. No? I couldn't drive around in a big blue G-Wagon. Says the man with hair like that. <laughs> BMO is going murdered out, sat in black. I don't know if this car worthy of this. It's going to be like DMO 111 or something, or DMO 666. Oh my God. Oh, it is freezing in here though, isn't it? Give it a nice wash, nice foam, and it'll be ready to wrap. My rims are back. Look at the rims, you lot. Look at the rims. Did you polish my exhaust? Keep good communication, make sure the cars are done on time and done to a good standard. So you got a pass, but I'm knowing life is fast. Everybody's got their path. Need you to meet me where I'm at. Can't see me through these tents. I bet they asking who is that. You see what I'm at? We have a brand new Lamborghini Puffer Monte. No, it's not my one. It is Babs's. You know Babs. He's got the Huracan. He's got the Eventual Ultima. And now he's got one of these straight out of Lamborghini Hatfield HRO in. And she's lovely. We're going to choose a lovely colour to wrap her in. But this is the first one that we've had here. We've got another couple of Uruses in there, which you can see in a minute. But what do we think about this car? Reality bounce back, don't allow that from the brown grass in the front yard. Made it real fast, so come real, baby. Don't lie to me, just lie with me. I need you to slide with me, come ride with me. I'm gonna spend time on you, got eyes for you. But it's pride in me, on guard. So I keep my cuff pulled and my trust in us. So, Nick, and these side bits, I have to kind of do something a bit different because where the vinyl end is right on the edge and when you bring it around, when you're superheating it, it starts to roll back a little bit. So what I have to kind of do is finish it a bit short because it's already in black. What do you think? That's as far as it's going to go, yeah. isn't it? Without it creeping back. Sometimes it's, it's easier just to have a second pair of as just to make sure it's all good. But yeah, I've, I'm quite happy with it. It's going in nice, so bit. one piece. We love a one piece, don't we? We love a one piece. This is actually my first Euros Performante that I'm working on. Not much different, but there is some difference. Like the front bumper is completely different from a normal Euros. And the bonnet's completely different. Vens, he's got more deeper recesses in the middle, which we're gonna have to do a bit more work to make sure it goes in and stay in. Overall, smaller than a normal Euros, but the most trickiest part will probably gonna be the rear bumper. We wanna minimize stretch. So we're feeding to all the channels, which is gonna give a cleaner finish. You're not gonna get any glue lines. To be honest, with this material, you don't get as much glue line as you do if you use a satin black because this material is quite easy, it's soft, it's flexible. Luckily this time we're working with matte, which is the best finish you can work with. All right, still, obviously, because of these recesses, we have to kind of like play around with it a bit. We've got past the hard part, so now we just got the easy part of the front, so we're just going to get all this heat in. So what makes a good wrapper is your finishing. So you've got your overall look, you want it to look seamless, no imperfections, but the test of time, it comes from your finishing, your edges, top edges, bottom edges, folding underneath, just make sure it all stays in place where it should. We've just finished stripping the uh, RS6 for it to be wrapped now. So the reason why we had to bring the bumper forward is so we can, they can tuck the final in there, so it just makes it all finish a lot nicer. Wrapping it um, satin black, so there's no need to strip the bumper. So we've just basically cable tied it up, held it in place so they can then take up in the air and then wrap the bumper. So this size strips a little bit more than normal. Um, we normally go to this extreme if we're doing shuts, but because we've got um, side seals that go on here, what lip underneath the door to put them back on once the final's on there. It's got a good chance of it catching and tearing the final. So then we've basically got to do it again. So in my eyes, it was easier to remove the door. So when it's all been put back together, nothing gets damaged. It's all about getting the quality top. So it's, it's just all nicely done. A little bit extra work don't make much difference really. So here we have Young Phoenix car in the detailing bay. Right now we have a fallout remover, so any contamination, any iron on the car, this decontaminates it. This is what we do for every wrap job. So this is one of the processes we use, and after that we'll give it a nice wash, nice foam, and it'll be ready to wrap.
So that is. Oh, she's lovely. That is the colour that Philly's chose. So she's lovely. You saw you saw a car like this in Dubai, didn't you? Yeah. And this is what made you think this is the colour you want. Yeah, yeah. That F1 weekend, and then I see it, and I was like, whoa, that looks cool. And then I said, yeah, I wanted to get this. And I actually hit you up um, December. Yeah, before Christmas. Yeah, and then I was just like, there's no point. You know what I mean? Keep the car blacked out. And then I was like, yeah, let's just get this done. Yeah, so so we ordered the vinyl to make sure we had it in stock. And we just held it here. And now it's ready. Yeah, I'm excited. I will say this, and obviously you can probably see this on the screen right now. Look at his car. <laughs> oh. See how dirty it is? You know you can't keep your car like that when you've got a wrap on it. You need to look after it a little bit. No, better. no, I will 100%. Yeah, it's because I, I, I hit the rim and then I got really scratched up. So then I lost like motivation to clean it. And then I was like, I'm just going to wrap it and then get the rims done at the same time. So, yeah. Okay, you know, you know obviously I'm going to edit this section out. Yeah, just hold yeah. it. So then when I see your car filthy, I'm just going to post this <laughs> section. That's it. And I'm like, do you remember when Philly said this? Liar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that is his colour. Uh, mm. We're going to go all out on it. This is exciting. What, what's next for Philly? What's next? I don't know, just more, just more YouTube videos really and music. Um, I just want to go into do uh, more dating videos. We used to do Does okay. The Shoe Fit, but I don't know if that's going to come back. Okay. So now I'm just trying to like plot and plan how or if I'm going to do like a, a dating sort of like episode on my channel, do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm going to do it yet or not. If you want to see Philly's channel, click here. Um, check him out and obviously Philly's going to leave and we're gonna get his car in, stripped, and then wrapped. So, we showed you the color, and the boys have started wrapping. Now, we like to go really, really extreme here. So we've taken the doors off, the arches are off, to make sure you get that optimum finish. Nick is wrapping his car. Nick, what's happening, pal? Yo, you well? how's it going? Yeah, good. G-Wagons, we're going from black to blue. How difficult is this car to wrap firstly? I mean, not too bad to be fair, because we wrap so many. Yeah. But there is a lot of creases in the body lines, which you've got to watch out for. We've gone one massive sheet here. Yeah. Why? Just better finish. So when the doors go back on, obviously you see in quite far, but even though it's not shuts, we still take it in. Like you said, optimum finish, isn't it? Optimum finish. In those of tech vinyl, we know it gives a fantastic gloss finish. It's not the easiest to work with though, is it? No, not at all. It shows up every imperfection. And because it's high gloss, any you know little bits of dirt you're going to see, it's going to magnetise it. Okay. But it's the best finish. Do you feel you're under more pressure because this is Young Philly's car? Obviously, celebrity, massive YouTuber. No uh, pressure. Bob the Builder, Young Philly, we'll smash it out. Love that. <laughs> Philly, did he just compare you to Bob the Builder? <laughs> Big Tev. Yes, brother. Tev is here. These are like, wow, that was loud. Um, Tev, obviously you do this as well. Yeah, this, yeah. This, is, this is bread and butter for you. No problem? No problem at all. Um, obviously the passenger side is normally the hardest side because you have the hinges and the door that comes this side. That's, see, that's interesting to know. Of course, because if you look, the door opens this way. Cool. Look at Nick getting it easy. I, I give Tev the hard side, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, apart from being difficult, not so bad. The contaminated the panel. We yep. still a bit of contamination here, so try to make sure we allow more time on cleaning. Okay. That the vinyl is so glossy and any imperfection you can see on the vinyl. Yep. So I'll make sure I'm going two, three times, double check if the panel is properly clean, and after we lay down the vinyl. Okay, so we've got Cav, Cav or something, bro. Okay. <laughs> Cav is our, like, our out there person. He has his hair, he has his hair on the top, he changes his <laughs> colour. So usually he'll change the colour to go with the car. He should have gone blue today. I, know, I haven't changed it in a while. I need yep. to do it. What are we thinking? It's not for me. No? I, it's a nice colour. Yeah. But I couldn't drive around in a big blue G-Wagon. Okay, what colour would you go? I don't know. It says the yeah. like that. <laughs> hey! So, wait, run that again. Say that again. Says the man with hair like that. Exactly. He, he can't, can't drive a big blue G-Wagon, but I can walk around yeah, with but, pink hair though. Yeah, that's driving why. a big blue G-Wagon is completely different to have bright blue hair. Hello, Hev. Let's see. How are we getting on? So, everything's going on. Smooth this so far, bunny's on, front bumper's done. 
um, dropping the rear bumper next. So I think this car should be in, near to complete by the end of today. Yeah. Apart from the roof, until we find out what's going on. What's with going that. on with it? Just come down to do my checks with Tev, see where he's at today, and see where we're going to be at the end of the day. You know, make sure that between us and the rappers, we um, keep good communication. Make sure the cars are done on time and done to a good standard. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is a little bit of tension there. So if we get all this nice and warm and pull it around, hopefully when I pull that back here, it should fall inside and so on. Car, the rear bumper is a lot different from any of the Euros. A lot of the recess are well deep, so wrapping it tend to be a bit harder, trying to get the vinyl in without doing any joins, inlays. I managed to actually do it all in one piece. In difficulty, I would say definitely reaching to a 10, but a nine and a half. If it wasn't for the material, it would definitely be a straight 10. I've done one now, my first one. So hopefully, if I get any more in the future now, it should be a little bit easier. I'm quite happy with it and pleased with myself. Right, so this is our good friend DMO's car. As you can see, it's fully stripped now. Haven't added the kit yet because we're gonna wrap it. DMO is going murdered out, satin black. 22 inch wheels, full carbon, and I know that he's not gonna keep this standard. He's gonna do something silly with the engine. That's what he's all about. So yeah, this is well on its way. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing this one getting put back together. I'm really trying my hardest, restraining and asking it hurts to show up and glow on these boys. Don't tell me I won't, can't nobody see me. I've been on go time, and to be honest, it's not even close. Your favorite is faking his streams, and you mean me not with a show. But what do I know? I don't this is my dream, Flex. This is my dream. I don't know if it's this car worthy of this. I was going to say, can I guess? Yeah. I, I, can I guess? guess as well. No, I want to guess. Both guess. Oh, you guess. R56 DMO. No, no. DMO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. DMO yeah. RS6. Is it anything car related, or can it go on any car? It's going to be like DMO 111 or something, or DMO 666. Silly, What's the it? best player you think I could possibly get? DMO one or one DMO. Oh, no, you can't. Can, 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 you can't. You can get one DMO. You can, one DMO. You can, you can get one DMO. Yeah. Can no, you? Can't. He's got one DMO. He ain't got one DMO. Oh my god! Oh my day! Hey, I swear down for the last twenty years of trying to get this plate. Concrete two rows, stuck by the code. Been by the code, you know how I be. Reason in here though, innit? So, we're in Milton Keynes. Your car is there under the cover. Excited. It's been a week. We turned this car around pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a G63 AMG with the full urban kit. Say that again, it's a what? It's a G63 AMG All right. with the full urban kit. All right. It's got extra carbon. All right. Okay, and now it's got a wrap. You Let ready for this? It. Oh, it looks mad. Rims are back. Look at the rims, you lot. Look at the rims. Oh my God. Did you polish my exhaust? Got to clean the car, mate. You polished it. We've got to make the car look good. It's got to be right. This is the colour you wanted. This is the colour you saw in Dubai. And this is the one you were like, <laughs> this is what I want. This is so Too much, bro. Thank you so much. you happy? Much. Yeah.
So there it is guys, the Lamborghini Urus Performante, first one wrapped here at Yanomai's in Milton Keynes. I don't know if anyone else has wrapped one yet, but we have just finished that. That car belongs to Babs. And what we've done is we've uniformed it with his Aventador Ultima Roadster. This car is now ready to leave. We've also added the red pinstripe to it. We are getting this collected on a truck and that is heading over to Hatfield for him to do a full collection tomorrow, which I'll be there to film for you guys. HR Rowan, we're coming. And there they are, all three cars. Picking up an Urus Perth, that, that's serious, yeah? yeah, yeah. That, that's level. But having three of your Lamborghinis here. Lamborghini showroom, isn't it? It's, it's, your own, it's your own Lamborghini <laughs> showroom in, in Hatfield. <laughs> yeah. Um, listen, I had three Lambos at one stage. Do you remember? I had my Urus, I had yeah, my SP Roadster, and, and I had my Aventador. S and I had my S Roadster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was madness. I didn't yeah. have it for long, yeah, but it was yeah. madness. You've now got an Urus Perf, yeah. a Puffamante Spider, and an yeah. Ultima um, Roadster. Yeah, yeah. It's mad, like from like mad beginnings, but like, oh, it's still humbling, man. It's 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 crazy. I'm, I'm truly blessed. Like, but the thing is that my Ultima goes into storage, so I kind of forget about that my hurricane i'll be honest with you like i still i still like pinch myself that i got them but i try not to get caught up in it by like i'll oh, driving it all the time and stuff like that i still want to focus on my work and so your, your daily your daily is a porsche Taycan, Taycan which it. is your daily which which obviously brings you back down to earth normal and then you've got the the, the access of when you need to drive one of them yeah i drive my Urus every day i love my Urus. are you gonna nah. drive this more nah Really? Oh, it was with like weekend, maybe special. I'll, I'll be honest with you, like the Taycan, because I do like mileage for work. Electric is great, but also it's just like I feel like a little kid every time I jump in the car. If I drive it every day, do you know what I mean? You, you get a bit complacent. You, you lose, you, yeah, you lose, you lose that buzz. 